Hello, world. Hello to the whole wide world. It's the Treva and Kevin Show. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Nashville, Tennessee, and across. I'm here with Treva. She's feeling awfully good this morning. I'm feeling morning. great. Why are you feeling so good? Because it is our Lend a Helping Hand show. Oh, man. When's the last time you lended a helping hand? Well, I like to say I do it every day. It's kind okay. of a priority on my okay. list to try to help somebody every day. Remember this. Mm -hmm. You can't help someone without helping yourself. Okay. I like that. And so what is it? Quote, Kevin C. Kennedy. Why is every quote on this show Kevin C. Kennedy? Well, I mean, it's a good place to put it. You know, when you've seen all these poems, it says, anonymous, I know well, who wait, wrote them. what about the more you go, the more you grow? Well, that's true. Kevin no, C. No, it's actually my quote. Well, I know, but I borrowed it just for that C segment uh -huh. and everything. All right. Well, we have a great show coming up. Scott Gotze joins us coming up. And uh, stick around. Tell a friend. It's the Treva and Kevin show. Stay tuned. Woo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. Exciting show. All Hear right. And learn some things today. Wonderful. Well, our guest today is an amazing man of God. He's doing some great things. It's been a year since he's been with us. I don't know why, but maybe because God is using him to do some Amen. remarkable things in this illustrious studio called Zenith Studios. Uh, he is the owner, and uh, he's doing a lot of things. Scott Gotze, welcome. Good to see you again. Good to Scott. see so you. So many always. things. I didn't know all what to say. Oh well, uh, I, think I just you did a didn't great know. Job. I just didn't know. I, le I left my my tip jar money in the car. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Bring well, that in next time. For, yeah. You know, one of the amazing things when everyone comes up here, it's such a beautiful place, and they're all expecting an older man to yes, own oh, all wow. this. Isn't it true? Yes, yeah. And so many of the guests come in and they say, "Well, what is his secret? How does a young man get all this put together? How do you get it all?" Put together. Well, I'm really 70. I just have a good passion. <laughs> so, you know, I want his. I'm yeah. going to use it for a recommended <laughs> tree. Tree. You and Scott be oh, getting hooked gosh. up there. Okay. okay. She so, looks great. Though. So yeah. thank you. What have you been up to, Scott? Oh gosh, us. it's just been an amazing, amazing journey. Uh, the last year um, has really been wonderful. I actually just got back from Washington D.C. Okay. Um, one of the things that uh, we do and specialize in is doing events. And uh, so we had about 200 people that we shuttled around Washington, D.C., uh, met with a lot of congressmen uh, that spoke to our group of people and uh, really just uh, prayed with a lot of uh, uh, people um, on the Hill and uh, did some concerts there. We were actually at the Museum okay. of the Bible and the okay. theater. And wow. uh, that's a wow. Yeah. Oh, it was just it was amazing, amazing state of the art theater. Um, and, and did a lot of things like uh, going to uh, Mount Vernon, uh, Washington, okay. uh, George Washington. One of my place. heroes. Yeah, yeah. And we had great food everywhere we went. Oh but, uh, you know, one of the things that is different about Washington, D.C., doing an event with that kind of that group, like 200 mm -hmm. people versus like the cruise or some of the hotel events we've done with uh, even 1,500 or 2,000 mm -hmm. people is going through security. I counted that I went through security 21 times in three wow. days. And it wasn't just me. It was the 200 people with yes. us that went through security wow. 21 times because of all of the buildings that we were going through, Supreme Court and the Capitol and, and whatnot. So uh, anyways, it was one of the most interesting things I've ever been a part of and ever done. Um, and it was also one of the most gratifying um, to wow. see so many people that have never experienced Washington, D.C. and learn about uh, the history of this wonderful country that we live in. Amazing. Well, one of the great things about our show, so many people have never been, had the opportunity to go to Washington. So when we have guests like you that can show a little bit and tell a little mm -hmm. insight, then we've expanded your experience yeah. and uh, informed them. You know, you've got several businesses. Tell us about your businesses. Yeah. Um, so Xena Studios that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And thank you all so much for shooting here. Yes, yeah. thank and, you for uh, having us. We, we have we so, so many of our people, uh, Jake Sammons, of course, uh, oh, works very closely with you guys. The he best. is the best. The best. Um, and uh, we, we have great people that work here and a lot of different projects that happen here, not just uh, television shows like yourself. Uh, we do music shows. So we have a recording studio doing all different kinds of music. We do a lot of Christian music. Of course, in this town, you can't help but to do some country music, too, mm -hmm. yeah. if you have a recording studio. And Jay claims he can make me sing great and sound great. Is, he did can. he tell the truth? He can, he well, can do it. I, I don't even know how much Jake would have to work because you're so great already. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. That's a high five, Scott. Hey, 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 hey. That's good. So let yeah. me ask you this, I'll let Scott. you in the background. You have <laughs> met, you've met so many people in life. Uh, name some people, some individuals that may have really had an impact. 
Oh, wow. Your that's, life. that's a great, that's yeah. a great one. Um, I would say probably um, the one that has made uh, the most significant impact um, to me would be Bill Gaither. Um, I can and, imagine. Um, if you're not familiar with Bill Gaither, um, he had a little thing called uh, Gaither Homecoming Series um, and really kind of rejuvenated traditional gospel music, or some people would have called it Southern gospel music yep. at one point in time. Um, because that's how I grew up singing with my family and from Indiana, where he's from. Um, the things that he's been able to do in uh, bringing Phenomenal. people together and crowds of people together yes. to glorify God, I would definitely think that he's at the top of my list Beautiful. and the influence um, that he's had in my life, um, not only directly, but uh, just through the work that he's done. Um, what an inspiration that yeah. is to not only know that you can um, you can achieve your goals and dreams, but... If you put God first yeah. and you put him at the center of your program, whatever that is, whether it's a concert or a TV show, um, the good things are going to come from it. And Amen. you can really encourage people. And I'm finding more and more successful people such as yourself, Mr. Kennedy, people that I meet along the way, that factor, that it factor for them is God. It right? is. Because yeah. you've mentioned him several times. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, for me personally, uh, I don't know if I would be sitting in this seat if it wasn't wow. for my faith in, in God oh, tell and what he's done in my life. Um, Amen. I'm one of those people that I can, I can run off the rails really quickly if left to my own accord. Um, and uh, you would be both. I, I feel like I have a lot of good skills mm -hmm. um, and uh, I try to use them uh, the best of my ability, but I also have a, a few demons in there that seem to pop up. And if it I love wasn't for honesty. God, I love you know, really honesty. just coming in at the right time. And that's one of the things through the organization, the ministry that God bless me is called lost lending our share story. We ask people this one question, what is your truth? And mm -hmm. I love it that yeah. even you're on television and yeah. this is uh, a program that goes out abroad. Here you're being honest and you're sharing your truth. It's, your truth. it's not always roses Commended. and sunshine. I, I, I may have an anger problem. I may have a temper. Yeah. I may not always be happy, but God is still good. And I love that about you, Scott. I love your transparency. We don't have to, I don't want to fake it till I make it no. anymore. I want to say, you know what? I'm. This is who I am. Right. Love me, like me, take me for who I am. That's right. Yeah. Well, and I think if we're honest um, mm -hmm. and evaluate each of us mm -hmm. up here, that if we really want to make a difference in other That's people's right. lives, Come on. we have to be transparent. We do. And the only way that we can really uh, crack that. the yoke, if you will, Oof. is by showing some transparency and being real with those people. Because they may look at Kevin or, or you and go, wow, they're really successful. And you know what? To some people... You're really you're the most successful person they've ever met, and you go well. Yeah, well, compared to this figure, I'm yes. nobody, right? Yes. Well, so it's all kind of relative. But the truth is, Touché. is that it doesn't matter if you're up here, here, or here, wherever people's perception of you is. Beautiful, Scott. You can really only touch people when you allow them in first. Amen. I love that. That's good. Wow. So tell us about your other businesses. Okay. Well, I have a couple. I have a production company called Gatsy and Associates, um, which is kind of the backbone of this, uh, uh, at least behind the scenes, uh, this particular TV show. Um, we do a lot of different things, uh, audio recordings. Uh, we do uh, promotions, uh, events. Um, and I love that business um, because that's kind of what I've been doing for the last 15 okay. years in and Beautiful. around record labels. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm a part of an organization called World Catalyst oh, wow. Solutions. Okay. Uh, World Catalyst Solutions um, is one of the newer endeavors that we've been a part of. Um, and basically, we are the bridge between nonprofit organizations or NGOs um, in third world countries primarily and people in the United States who have a platform. Um, and we're that bridge that kind of tells that story putting that story in front of people with a platform um, and allowing those people in that audience okay. to help support that NGO. All right. Well, hold that thought. We need to take a break, but we're coming back more. You're going to hang out with us, Scott? I'm yeah. not going anywhere. I'm, I right. got a cup of coffee. All right. Well, we're hanging out with Scott Godsey, Kevin Kennedy. Kevin, Kevin C. C. Kevin Kennedy. C. You always say that. Yeah. And we'll be back with more right after this. You're watching Stay the tuned. Treva and Good. Kevin Show. Yeah.
I hope you've missed us because we missed you. It's the Treva and Kevin show. Yeah, it's always exciting. So it is Scott, fun. you're hanging out with us. This Watch is awesome. out, it's Scott. Often, we're going to be it's rubbing off It's not often that you get to hang out with us or we're hanging out with you, but we are honored that this is you great. are here today. Yes, can true. I come here every week? I can, can come you, on. Can I can have my coffee under here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think we would make a great team. We, I, yeah, we, I thought we were a team. Oh, yeah. okay. Test Look at Kevin. See, Kennedy, the team. Yes. So I tell you what, what advice do you give to people who are starting all over again? It's 2020. It's a new year. And they said, you know what, 2019, it was a rough year for me. What advice do you give to those individuals who are starting this year and they're discouraged? They say, hey, 2019 beat me down pretty. It beat me down. I can't take it. What do you say to get that person up and going? Wow. That's a, that's a big one. I'm not sure if I'm qualified okay, to well, answer, but yes. uh, I'll, I'll definitely give you my opinion on that. Uh-huh. Uh, I've been through a little bit of uh, what you would call a, a shakeup or a crisis in my life. And um, I got divorced, uh, I guess it was four years ago now. So I know what that's like to kind of literally go down a track and you're like, okay, this is the life I'm going to have. And you kind of see how that plays out, you know, when I'm 80, when I'm 60, when I'm 40, you know, and, and go down the list. And, and when, when your world gets rocked, whether it's that or a loss of a loved one or whatever the thing could be, it could be a loss of a job. I think um, it's really easy to wake up every day and uh, you look in the mirror and you don't even know what you see anymore. Cabal, oh, whoa, it's me. Who is this? Who am I? And when you, when you come to that, Mm. that kind of place in your life, um, and unfortunately I've been there. uh, Is that a rock bottom place? I think it, I think it is a rock bottom, but you know, the funny thing about rock bottom is you can think you hit rock bottom and you wake up the next day and you went farther down. Come on. I know that's true too. And then you, you, you kind of have to, you, you have to pick yourself up, but I think the best thing for me, and if I could give any advice to anybody out there is you you have to, you have to pick yourself up enough to at least go try to find somebody that you can talk to that you trust. Is that what you did? Uh, That's exactly what I did uh, on multiple levels. Um, The power of a trusted friend. Power of a trusted friend and and, and honestly talking to professionals. um, And uh, I'm doing that currently. I'm actually, it's part of, I attend a grief therapy um, through Gilda's Club and I want to give a shout out to them. Awesome. Uh, Just, I think it takes all of that when you hit a low moment. People don't understand. I think we... We dismiss the fact when people, they, we dismiss depression. Yes. We dismiss because we're always on the mountain. Right. Well, somebody's got to be in the valley sometime. That's They're right. there. That's yes. Right. That's right. And, and I think what you're saying is it, you got to not just have a sense of community. That word gets tossed around. You actually need community. Absolutely. And Live it. With social media being so prevalent in, in most of our lives at this point, we feel like we belong to something, but all we belong to is something that we're holding in our hand when really sometimes we need to be held. Ooh. And when you get in a group of people, tell it. That's that's when you can really start seeing healing and life change. And you may not even know what kind of depression you're in until you're completely out of it months later. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if somebody's feeling, you know, like 2019 has been a little rough, well, go, go talk to some people, Mm -hmm. you know, get involved in community, whether it's uh, a part of your faith uh, in church or, or seeing a professional, uh, whatever that may be, or or great friends. Has it helped you? Oh, absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Uh, It was just a couple of years ago that I kind of looked back and I went, I had no idea. I knew I was in a bad place, but I had no idea what kind of place I was really in until you get out of it. Kevin, what do you have to say well, about well, that? Well, you know, when he, he shared that he Ooh. went through a divorce, so many people have told me over the years, been thousands and tens of thousands of divorces, it's the lowest time of their life. And I continue to ask people, you know, how do you get through the lowest time of your life? Mm -hmm. And the advice that you shared about talking to a trusted friend. Many wealthy people that we represent, you know, they have money. And I said, well, are you ready to transfer some of this money? And they said, well, I can't trust them. And so, so many people, there's a void about trust. That's why Mm -hmm. we big proponents of the church and the proponents of Christ, because mm-hmm. he's a friend that sticketh That's closer right. than a brother. That's right. And when I don't know where to go, I mm-hmm. look to him yes. and he will direct our paths. Yes. You hit on the note depression. You know, as a young man, I never knew what depression was. I thought I knew what loneliness was, mm-hmm. but then I experienced it in my 40s and I said, wow, mm-hmm. amazing. So, how do you deal with it? And so many people try to self medicate. Some people eat and some people just don't deal with it in a good way. But I'm grateful for your Amen. testimony here today, also and I'm encouraged powerful. by 
you're going and we didn't forward. know that. And I thank you for sharing because so many times we hide behind a mask. I'm not hiding anymore. I was speaking to a friend and um, they said, how are you doing that your husband passed away? I said, I'm heartbroken. They said, oh, don't say that. Well, why? It, it's made, true. it, it made them feel good. And yeah. I guess that was their way of saying, oh, hallelujah, you're better. I said, well, I'm glad they felt better. But I was just speaking my truth. I think right. more people need to share their truth of how they really feel. And you'll find, I, I know that God is with me. He's right. strengthening us. And look at your studio. Look at the work that you're doing because you are sharing your truth. Kevin, you're doing it's some remarkable incredible. things. Right. Because you have to tell people where you've been. That's right. The road that you've been down, was it always easy? No. Of course so not. how did you get up, Kevin, when you well, were down? You know, this, how did you get up? How I got how up? How did you get up? I had some self-motivation. I was always in the church. I never ran away. Okay. I've always had there some people go. around me that there I could go. call That's and right. talk yes. to and say, there you know, you this is what I'm confronted Woo. with. And you are one of the great encouragers yes. that encourage us. Yes. Let us look at who we are. This year, this year. Scott. Yes. And tree, but yes. there will be some records broken that mm -hmm. have never been broken and, before. And, talk and about, I believe it. Amen. And talk like about that. this cruise. Yeah. I mean, this is amazing for you to have the story, your testimony. And I mean, this cruise that you put together. Yeah. That's God. Tell well, us about it. Well, thank you. Uh, we've been doing that um, for about uh, 15 years or so. Um, and so I think we've done somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 or 25 cruises where we bring Christian artists together. Um, and promote it to uh, their fan base uh, and invite all different kinds of uh, folks that want to come on the cruise. And uh, then we schedule special programming um, that is faith-based oriented um, and uh, and everybody has a great time. Uh, you okay. know, on cruises, you eat a lot and you go to wonderful I love it. destinations. You can't destination. eat a lot, Scott. Oh, you're yeah. Shape. Oh, well, you're very kind. Well, yes. I really should have brought that tip jar money. Oh, I really yes. should have done that. Yeah. Yeah. But well, uh, go well, on a cruise and come out. I'm it's it's you look like Scott. I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, you guys. We'll take two. We'll take well, two. Well, look, before we go okay. to commercial break, I like to share a scripture and then we're going to come back and close out with Scott. Romans, the 12th chapter and verse 10. And I think this signifies what we're all talking about. And it says, love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Amen. All right. We're going to take a break and come back more with Scott Godsey. We're so excited. Get excited. See, yeah. I am. I'm being fired up, baby. I was thinking about the food on the cruise. Okay. Right, it's that time again. It's the close of the show. Yes, I can't believe it. This has been one of the most unique days Woo. that we've spent. The anointing has been throughout the uh, uh, studio throughout today. And Scott, your testimony has been powerful and inspired. You can share your words, but I'm going to ponder them yes. as we travel till we see each other again. Yes. And take that and motivate us to do something for Jesus yes. with wh where we are. So I have a question for Scott. Come on, man. The people who work at Zenith, yes. they are so, oh my gosh, they're motivated, they're caring, they're kind. How do you keep the team together? Yeah, that's here? a good question. How do you keep them together? Because they are, yeah. you have an excellent team. You got to feed them. Go on, yeah. tell the truth. And how do you choose, right. how do you know how to choose the right team? Well, uh, for Seriously. me, that, that's been a series of disasters really? um, to get to this place. Thank you, but uh, I've hired a lot of the wrong people. Um, and uh, the first thing for me is, uh, is character. Um, I, I've learned that if they don't have good character and if yes. I don't like them, and I, I don't mean that the wrong way, but Talk if we us. don't click and if that's we don't right. get along. What's your truth? And their true? character doesn't really resonate with my spirit, mm -hmm. then there's no hope for them to have longevity, whether it's at Zenith or one of the other companies. Beautiful. So if you have that quality, 
So if you feel something a certain kind of way, yes. you should not hire. If you just feel it, yeah. like I don't yeah. think this just, person is a great fit. I just don't fit. think they're going to fit. Yeah. Okay. And that's the number one thing for me. Um, because if, if that works at the top level, then, you know, whether you're really good at graphics or you're not very good at graphics or you're great at answering the phone or you're not so great at admin, then it just becomes a management thing. You know, the one you can change management. You can uh, help people uh, develop their talent. Yep. You can do a lot of these things. You know, to really uh, hone in and manage someone appropriately to get what you need out of them. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the one thing that my experience has showed me that you can't change is someone's character. Ooh. And so you can't you can't bring joy into their life. And you, what ultimately I want everybody to experience when they walk in the door, whether it's me or somebody else on our team is they can go, wow, Okay, now I this enjoyed is, that person. Now, this is for you and Kevin, you, Kevin, and myself as visionaries. We're all our visionaries. Yes. I want to know your vision. Just share a little bit. Your vision, my vision. What's your vision? Share a little bit. This my is vision? from Visionaries today. Okay. Visionaries. I'll make it short so we have enough mm -hmm. time. My, my vision for what I feel like my purpose is at this point um, I've worked at record companies, still work at a record company, uh, run a record label. Um, I've done a lot of production, uh, TV, a lot of macro things. Um, my goal going forward is to make sure that whatever I am working on has, has the potential to reach everybody in the world. Um, so to make that really simple, um, I don't want to keep it just for myself. I don't want to keep it just for us here in this room. You know, if we're working on something and it's significant to the people in Nashville, then that means it's significant to everybody in the world at some level. And so just making sure. sure that whatever work that we do, whether uh, I'm on camera or, or behind the scenes, making sure that it has every opportunity to reach that person in their moment, uh, their time of need. Okay. Wow. Kevin, well, you know, you. I had that uh, saying I put on my law firms, we're committed to helping people. Mm -hmm. But at this time, it's even bigger than that. It's a simple message of the advancement of the cause of Christ. And so with through your work, I can partner with you. And through your work, I can right. partner with you. And I'm not interested unless it is advanced Sing the cause of Christ. Trade yes. us. Amen. Uh, in April of 2020 in Detroit, Michigan, the Lord blessed us to acquire a home for loss and we're turning it into a women's home. Mm. Uh, there'll be six women that we're housing in that home in April. And then my home that I have, the Lord has spoken to me. I said, Lord, what do I do with my home? Because my beloved husband, he's now gone on to heaven. I'm believing the Lord that he's transitioning that home to be a home for veterans, the Robert E. Gordon home for veterans. And I just want to let, I want my life to count. Like you said, I yes. just want my life let your life to count. Yes, him, for the king, too. because it's bigger than us, That's Scott. Right. And you're so right. If you're stuck in just, I'm in my own little bubble, then you can't help anybody. You can't help anyone. And I think the key to growth is serving. That's yes. right. And that's why you're successful, because you love people. You love God. That's why you're successful, because you love people. You love to give. You're a giver. I'm successful because I love helping people. I will help someone. I will help anyone if I can. I may not always have it, but I'll point you in the right direction. Amen. How about Amen. that? Love that. Well, love we that. love hanging out with you, Scott. Thank you yes. for having me. Lord bless you. are an amazing so man of God. Amazing. You all are amazing. Ooh. He's got a long journey ahead to oh, get a lot goodness. of things accomplished. So speak a great word to Scott today. With yeah, a young on. man like you, mm. you should take all these talents and say, Lord, here am I. Mm -hmm. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Take these hands and take my feet, take my mouth, Take all that I have. Let it be used for your glory. And the windows of heaven will open up and pour out a blessing. There's not room enough to contain, not for your glory or yours or mine, but for his glory. Amen. Let him use us till we meet him face to face. I hear In that. Jesus Accept name. that. Amen. Amen. Woo, woo. I believe it. Good one. All right. We're out of time. Thank you so much. It's the Treva and Kevin God show. God bless y'all. God bless you, Thank Scott. You. Appreciate Thank your work. You. Thank you. Profound. Thank you.